That is everything. So without further ado, this is Mud by Maria Irene Cornette. things you're stupid 
I'm not. And when I finish school, I'm leaving. You hear? You can stay in the mud. Did you pick the corn? What corn? Corn I told you to pick. There is no corn. How come there is no corn? The groundhog ate it. You let him eat it. I didn't. You didn't watch it. I had to sleep. I came in here to sleep. You can sleep in the field. It's wet there. It's cold. I'm sick. You sleep there. I work here, not in the field. I'll work here. You work there. You know, I really wish you would go see a doctor. Because you're not going to get any better if you don't. And when I leave, you will starve. I'll find food. Where? Anywhere. There's food. Where? There's pig slop. What pig slop? There won't be any pig slop. Not if you don't grow something to put in it. I did it to Betsy. You did? Yeah. I felt bad. My head hurt. I went to her. She's nice. She lets me eat her food. I got it up. I got it in her all the way. It didn't hurt. No kidding. It didn't hurt. You don't fuck pigs. She liked it. Oh, Ben. What do you mean? <laughs> do you get clean before you did it? Before I'm clean. No, you're not. You stink. She didn't mind. I'm taking these up now. Put on your shoes and walk to the clinic together. I'll walk there with you, because I know you won't get there if I don't go with you. <laughs> Let's go, Lloyd. Put on your shoes. Come on. Let's go, Lloyd. You're not going to the clinic with an ex. <laughs> Why not? You can't. I'll take my knife then. You can't take your knife either. I won't go then. So, what happens? You drink yourself to death. So, 
You have alcohol, you drink it. You don't have alcohol, you don't drink it. You have money to buy alcohol, you buy it. You don't have money to buy it, you don't buy it. So, does Lloyd have alcohol, May? Well, he has no money to buy it. If he had money, he would drink. He would be a drunk. Yes, he would. If he's not a drunk, it's because he's poor. He is. <laughs> <laughs> Prostatitis and uh, prostatosis, uh, acute and chronic bacterial infection of the prostate gland, <laughs> uh, <laughs> symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment. Oh. Bruh. <laughs> Common symptoms of acute prostatitis and bacterial prostatosis are febrile illness, back pains, perennial pains, <laughs> irritated voiding, aching of the perineum, sexual pain, sexual impotency, painful ejaculation, <laughs> intermittent dysarrhea, or bloody ejaculation. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know what it means, Lloyd. These are medical terms. It needs study. This may require the use of a dictionary, a special dictionary, one that has medical terms, technical terms, probably a dictionary that has all kinds of technical terms, from uh, hardware and construction terms to scientific terms, like physics. There are such dictionaries. <laughs> You look swollen, Lloyd. <laughs> he is swollen. And your color is poor. Oh, show him your tongue, Lloyd. His tongue is white and his breast smells bad. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> 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 Why won't you go to the doctor, Lloyd? I don't want to go. He will stay here and rot. I won't rot. I said I'd go. You said I couldn't go. <laughs> he wanted to go up there with an axe. He's an animal. You don't go to the clinic with an axe. You can't do that. Why would you do that, Lloyd? I didn't do it. I never went. He does smell bad. He's rotting yeah. away, and you won't do anything about it. Well, you better dig your grave while you can, Lloyd, because I'm not going to do it for you. I told him to find a spot and dig it, because it takes a strong person to dig that deep, and I couldn't do it. Mm. I wouldn't, even if I could. Mm. <laughs> would you like some bread, Henry? I've got some butter. <laughs> thank you. Would you like some dinner? We have soup. Yes, thank you. We'll stay then. I haven't started it yet. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you. caring for things, uh, mending them, washing them, repairing them. We will use a car till it breaks down, then we will discard it. Any radio or any machine or any appliance will be discarded as soon as it breaks down. We will make a call on the telephone and the new one will be delivered. Already, we see places that use paper puff, paper cups, paper plates, paper towels. I mean, our time will not be wasted and we will choose how to spend it. I don't think I'll be wanted in such a world. Why not? In such a world, a person must be of value. Oh. I feel I am hollow and offensive. <laughs> Why is that? I think most people are. What do you mean? Explain what you mean. <laughs> I don't think I can. I'm not offensive. I don't think I'm offensive. I think I'm a decent no, man. No, you are decent, Henry, and so is Lloyd in his own way. So what do you mean when you say we are all offensive? I mean that we are base and we spend our lives with small things. Well, I don't think I do that. No, no, don't be offended, Henry. You are not base. Of all the people that I know, you are the finest. You are the person who I respect most and am most proud to know. I have no one to talk to. 
And so sometimes I feel hollow and base and like I do not have a mind. But with you, I do. I feel I have a mind. Why is that? Like, why is it that some people make you feel stupid and some people make you feel smart? And, and not smart, because I am not smart, but some people make you feel like you've got something inside you, inside your head. Why is that? Why is it that you can talk, Henry, and Lloyd cannot talk? Why is that? What I'm saying, Henry, is that I want you. I want you here with me, that I love you. Me. This is unexpected. Well, it is unexpected, Henry. <laughs> I have nothing to offer you. But you do. I want you. Me? I want your mind. My mind? I want it. Mercy endures forever, for he satisfies the longing soul, and the hungry soul he fills with goodness. We never said grace in this house. My father never did, and I never learned to, and neither did Lloyd. Lloyd, did you hear that? Henry said grace. I feel grace in my heart. I feel fresh inside, as if a breeze had just gone inside my heart. What was it you said? Henry, what were the words? I, I don't retain the words. I never do. I, I find it hard to do the work at school. I, I can work on my feet all day at the ironing board. I can make myself do it, even if I am tired. But I cannot 
make myself retain the things that I learn. I have no memory. <laughs> the teacher says I have no memory, and it's true that I don't. I, I cannot grasp the things that I learn, not enough to pass the test, but I, I rejoice in the knowledge that I get. And not everything, but most things, they make me feel joyful. Do you feel that way, Henry? I'm not sure. I, I, I like to know things, but if I don't remember what I learned, I don't think I would feel any pleasure. I mean, if I don't remember things, I would feel that I don't know them. I like to learn things so I can live according to them, according to my knowledge. What's the point of learning anything if it doesn't serve you, if it doesn't help you shape your life? Lloyd, mm -hmm. hmm. do you take pleasure in learning anything if you don't remember what you learned? Lloyd doesn't like learning things. I like learning things. <laughs> Why don't you then? What is it I haven't learned? Henry, would you say grace again? <laughs> is that wrong? No. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for he satisfies the longing soul, and the hungry soul he fills with goodness. Why are you crying? I am a hungry soul. I am a longing soul. I, I am an empty soul, and it, it satisfies me to hear words that speak so lovingly to my soul. <laughs> Don't be afraid to eat from our dishes, Henry. They are clean. to you? Hmm. He's a man, and he's not a blood relative. So what is he to you? Lloyd? He's like family. But he is not. Everyone knows he is not. What is he? Well, I don't know what you call what he is. If I were to ask myself, I would not know how to answer it. He is not with me. 
You know he is not with me. He sleeps down here. Well, I feel I am offending him, and he is offending me. So what is he? Well, what can I do, Henry? I, I don't want you to be offended. But there's nothing that I can do. There's nothing that you can do, and there's nothing that Lloyd can do. He has always been here since he was little. My dad brought him in. He said that Lloyd was a good boy and that he could keep me company. That he was old and tired and he had no idea what a young person like me was like. That he was he had no patience and he was weary of life and he had no more desire to make things work and he didn't want to listen to me talk. And he felt bad to see me sad and lonely. My dad was good, but he was sad and tired and hopeless, and when my mom died, he went to hell with himself, and then he died, and left Lloyd and I here, and we took care of each other. I don't know what you call what he is. We are related, but I don't know what you would call it. We are not brother and sister. We are like animals that grow up with each other and mate. And we were mates until you came here, but not since then. I could not be his mate again, not while you are here. I, I, am, I am not an animal. And I care about things, Henry. I do. I know some things that I never learned, and it's just I, I cannot grasp them, and I don't want to live like a dog. But Lloyd is good, Henry. And this is his home. When you came here, I thought that heaven had come to this place. And I still feel so. How can there be a fence here for you? <laughs> oh, Henry. Give me this. Oh, that's the prescription for your medicine. 
they should actually buy it. They said I should buy it, did you? No. Why not? I, I went to the clinic. I'm glad you did. It took a while. I thought they kept me a long time. I, I went early and just came back. How do you feel? I don't feel better. I feel worse. Why is that? They have instruments there. Mm. They suck instruments in me. I'm glad mm. you went. They can't be dead. They said I should buy dead. They said I should buy it. You get the medicine, Lloyd. You should get the medicine and get it over with. You should take the medicine and get well. There is no reason you should be walking around here with an illness that is eating away your insides. Take the medicine, do as you're told. Tell him to put it on the table. 
Tell him he owes me 138. And tell him I wish he'd pay it back. Ah. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Hey, 
stop it, Henry. Cut that out. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
get money. Just because he takes care of you, you're gonna let him have your money. He takes care of you. He never paid me. Can't I have a decent life? But I love you, Meg. I love you, Meg. Mm. I am dying. 